We usually join him on a Friday, but we uh, we missed him on Friday because he was putting the putting the finishing touches on what turned out to be a gargantuan and very well received story in the Omaha World Herald front page story about the death of small town football in Nebraska. Dirk Chatlin, our good friend from the Omaha World Herald, joins us uh, for the holidays. And first of all, Dirk, a uh, happy holidays to you. A fine job on uh, what I mean. This is. This is a this is a novel here. How how many how many inches did this story end up being? Well, uh, originally, uh, or or what it got cut down to. <laughs> yeah. Um, originally, it was about six thousand words. It ended up being about four thousand words. So, it's uh it's pretty long, but you know I think once people get into it, uh, it's it's kind of hard to put it down. You know the the visuals, the presentation is is pretty amazing online and. The words, you know, I think tell a story that, that a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. You know, either either people who came from, you know, a town like Lindsay, Nebraska, or whose parents came from a town like Lindsay, Nebraska. It's it's sort of a, um, you know, it's it's got a little bit of an Alexander Payne, you know, Nebraska theme to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, a, a, an optimistic one. Uh, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's certainly a story about, the the disappearance of you know small town football in Nebraska, but it's it's also a story about you know what these places are, uh, why they are appealing to people in the first place, and you know there's a character in my story that um, told me sort of uh, in a quote that that wasn't in the story, but she said you know our our people tell us this is paradise and and we don't we've never lived anywhere else so so we don't know any different. And and that's kind of the beauty of it. This sort of the simplicity of it. So, yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot to chew on. There is, uh, and you and you do a story specifically on Lindsay, Nebraska. It's in the northeast uh, part part of the state, and it's you know, it's been a D one or D two school. Eight man now had to go to six man this past year, and the lengths that it has to travel to find other teams, because as we mentioned, it's 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 really hard for enrollment to stay up in these really small towns. And they're having to do a lot of consolidation. This is one of those towns that is going to have to that is playing its last year of football as a town until it has to consolidate. And uh, just you're you're from Rising City, so you certainly this is this is you. I mean this this this, this whole story is in you. You're you're more familiar with it, more in touch with it than a lot of us. I grew up in Omaha, Tom and Lincoln. So to, just why did you? What compelled you to write this story, and what was compelling about it as you did it? Well, you know, the original idea came from a few stories back in uh, just little, you know, little blurbs uh, back in August uh, saying that, you know, such and such school was dropping its eight-man schedule uh, to, to drop down to six-man. And, you know, one of those schools that, that I saw that was doing that was Lindsay, was Lindsay Holy Family, which was a, which was a state quarterfinalist last year. Uh, you know, has has had a, an incredible run of football success. You know, they played down at Memorial Stadium. You know, I think three times they won two state championships. This is uh, to see a school like this not have enough players is really sort of alarming because of the success that they've had. Um, you know, and then you get out and you real you get out there and you realize that enrollment uh, has dropped fifty percent uh, since. Well, it's dropped from. Just maybe to put it even in more stark numbers, uh, has dropped from you know basically 200 to 100 in in grades one through 12, you know over the past seven years, uh, which is just staggering. And so you know you get out there and you realize the the problem. And, and I was aware of this. I mean I'd written a story about high school basketball in a similar regard a couple of years ago. But uh, you're out there, you know, and there's you're in all these crowded places in the world, you know, including, you know, West Omaha at 530 when you're trying to get home for supper or whatever, and there's stoplights every, you know, every six feet on the road. Uh, and then you get out to a place like that, and they literally don't have enough kids to, to make a team. And it's just, uh, it's really eye-opening. And it, it sort of, uh, it's it's a bit sad, uh, but it's it's also really inspiring because the things that they're doing you know, to maintain these experiences and preserve these opportunities for kids uh, are are really, you know, way beyond the call of duty, even for even for an engaged parent. So, uh, you know, they have a relationship in Lindsay with with the manufacturing plant, for instance, where parents go in and they they 
do very, very menial tasks, uh, you know, put, putting, uh, putting bolts and screws in bags, for instance, uh, and they do that to, to fund the, the programs at school. Uh, so it's, um, you know, it's, it's way beyond the call of duty. And, and I don't think it's, I, I think Lindsay is special in some ways, but it's also sort of universal in yeah. a lot of ways. Well, again, it was very well done. Uh, it's already received a little national acclaim on social media and well-deserved Dirk. Uh, and again, you can follow that on Omaha.com and it's pretty easy to find, but it was in yesterday's Sunday world Herald. All right. Dirk Challen, Omaha world Herald, Sunday world Herald yesterday, Front page, a story, a huge picture of uh, these high school football players, last boys standing, and the headline when you go inside, just a huge spread in the middle of the front section, reaching the end of the line. Great article in Small Town High School Football featuring Lindsay Holy Family in Northeast Nebraska. If, uh, Richard Deitchich, a media critic for Sports Illustrated, Tom, uh, tweeted at Dirk yesterday about what a well done, brilliant He's piece great this at those was. Feature articles. Yep, I love those. His bread and butter. Yep. Also, madchatter at Omaha.com.